NASA scientists are shocked by their latest find on Mars. They found oxygen fluctuations on the planet. Researchers were so astonished that they received the uh, Curiosity rover data. They first decided that sample analysts at Mars, SAM, had made a mistake that something malfunctioned. So they decided to check it at its accuracy yet again. And it, turned, it turns out that the instrument was right from the beginning. NASA's Curiosity rover made a discovery, leaving scientists agape. They were unable to provide an explanation of this bizarre incident, the fluctuations of oxygen. The first time we saw that, it was just mind-boggling, said Sushil Atreya, professor of climate and space sciences, University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And over the course of six Earth years, that is three Mars years, Curiosity was studying molecules in the atmosphere of Mars and how they change with the seasons. And like Earth, Mars is tilted on its axis and experiences winter and summer when its hemispheres are pointing towards the sun and away from the sun, respectively. Curiosity, or rather the SAM, which analyzed the air on Mars, revealed that nitrogen and argon followed a predictable pattern, increasing, decreasing throughout the year, depending on how much carbon dioxide was in the air. And researchers thought that oxygen would behave in the same way, but they were left stumped when they received the data. It showed that the amount of oxygen in the air randomly increased in spring and summer by as much as 30%, and then it returned to its previous levels. The fact that increase in oxygen varied each spring led scientists to suppose something was producing oxygen and then making it disappear again. Now I'm thinking, could it be some kind of plant life? But let's see. Uh, they said, we're struggling to explain this. The fact that the oxygen behavior is perfectly repeatable every season makes us think that it's not an issue that has to do with atmospheric dynamics. It has to be some chemical source and sink that we cannot yet account for. This is what Melissa Trainer, planetary scientist at NASA's Goodard Space Flight Center, Greenbelt, Maryland, said, and she led the research on this. The mystery of the oxygen and methane on Mars. It's stunning. This new discovery is not the first thing that's made NASA scientists scratch their heads. They're struggling to provide answers. To other curious mysteries, the rise and fall of methane levels as well on Mars, SAM revealed that the amount of gas soars by 60% during the summer months for undetermined reasons. Scientists are now trying to understand what could be behind these two uh, events, the increase in oxygen and the entry increase in methane. Oxygen and methane can be produced biologically and also geologically. But Curiosity Rover does not have equipment that can give a precise answer to that question. And scientists believe that non-biological explanations are more likely and encourage their colleagues to help them solve this mystery concerning the oxygen. Quote, this is the first time uh, we are seeing where we're seeing this interesting behavior over multiple years. We don't totally understand it, said Melissa Trainer. She said, for me, this is an open call to all the smart people out there who are interested in this, see what you can come up with, she says. And this is our Sputnik News. Well, maybe it has to do with some kind of weird uh, Martian plant life. Now, either that or there must be, during the spring and summer, tremendous geological changes. We know that there are Mars quakes. We know that there are landslides there. They've already told us that. And also, they're quite big, and they have to determine where these things take place before they send craft there or design where they're going to locate uh, and establish human space colonies on the planet. They have to make sure that they know the geography of the planet before they go and uh, establish any type of a habitation system. Very, very strange. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, 
you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.